In this video, I want to talk about how to share video out from a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And I should also work in a very similar manner on the uh, Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S4. So for me, coming from a Motorola Droid 3, which uses a, a standard micro HDMI, and you could just go straight to DVI or, or HDMI or whatever you wanted, um, the Samsung devices are a little bit different. And uh, first thing you'll notice is the USB port. It is a standard micro USB, but it's an 11 pin, not the traditional 5 pin. And uh, the devices do differ, and you have to make sure that you get what is for the S3 or the Note 2 or the S4 to uh, make sure that it'll work. Because if it's a 5 pin, it will not work. Part of the reason for the 11 pin interface is so that you could do USB and HDMI over the USB port. So to take advantage of the HDMI, we'd need what's called a mobile high definition link or an MHL device, which is what you see here. You can find these on eBay for about 10 to 20 bucks. And um, like I said, you have to make sure that you get one that is matched to the um, Note 2 or the S3 or higher. There's really not much to the device. We see there's uh, HDMI on one end and micro USB on the other end. And uh, there's actually a, an additional micro USB port for power. And it just plugs right into the USB port on the phone. So with that cable set up there, you just connect a HDMI cable to the uh, MHL device, connect that to the TV, and you're good to go as long as your TV supports HDCP encryption. So what happens when you want to output output video to a device that does not support HDCP encryption? Well, you pretty much can't. You'll just get blank output on the on the device. So that's where this little guy here comes in. Uh, essentially, it's going to um, strip the HDCP encryption for us. On one side, we have a mini HDMI, and on the other side, we have a standard 15-pin uh, VGA computer video port. And uh, there's actually an additional power port too, but we won't be using that. And uh, I do have to use an adapter here. I'm going to do, uh, it goes mini, DV uh, mini HDMI to standard HDMI because we're going to plug that into our MHL device. I found this part here on eBay for uh, I think it was 15 to 20 bucks. And over here to the side I have a standard micro USB for power and a VGA connector that's already hooked up to a monitor. Alright, so now all we got to do is put it all together. So uh, the first piece here is the MHL device. So we have the USB port on the right will go into the phone and then the HDMI port on the left hand side will go into the uh, HDMI to VGA box that will strip the uh, HDCP for us. So we're going to plug the uh, HDMI port into the HDMI on the uh, MHL device. So this part here will go into the phone. This part here goes into the computer. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into our VGA cable. and then we have to plug power into the MHL device. Alright, now that we got the cable situated, let's go ahead and plug it in. And we should get a message that the uh, HDMI cable has been connected. And there you go. And here you can see our output on a 20 inch Acer monitor. And uh, the screen will go like it normally would whenever you're looking at it as far as switching into like horizontal mode and everything like that. And it's actually not too bad. I, I thought with the, um, the HDMI to VGA conversion that it would uh, be a little more laggy, but it, it's not really that bad. So it, it ends up being uh, 1280 by 720, I think it is, on a 1680 by 1050 screen. So it looks a little, a little fuzzy, but uh, it works good for the most part, especially if you're in a, a pinch or something, or you want to display some video. Let's try out some YouTube real quick from my uh, my channel or my website. So you can see that the uh, the Note 2 has no problem driving a video on an external display like this, and uh, it actually shows it on both displays at the same time. Where um, I had a Motorola Droid 3, where it would actually shut the video off on the one screen and only display on the external. But um, if you hook up a uh, external keyboard and mouse, it actually becomes a pretty viable desktop, especially considering that it's a quad core with two gig of RAM and considering the fact that you've got always on 3G or 4G connectivity. Let's go ahead and take a look at a, a game real quick just so you can see how that displays on on something like this. It's not really like a, a 3D or intense game, like graphically intense, but uh, you get the idea. This has been one of my favorite games lately. But uh, it works pretty good. It, the response is pretty on par with the controls. It's not. It doesn't feel real, real laggy. 
but uh, sometimes it feels like it, it could it, like catches up a little bit but uh, for the most part it's pretty smooth and it works pretty well and uh, that pretty much wraps up this one um, like I said keep in mind the whole deal with the HDCP encryption if you're getting no output to your device or it's just blank you may need one of those um, converters the HDMI to VGA converter and then you could go compo component from there or whatever but uh, something to keep in mind uh, hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.